Hi everyone, it's the week of Ignite 2022 and I wanted to give you an update about the all new stuff of Azure data related things. The Microsoft team provides us with uh, the book of news. Maybe you've heard about that one. It's the one stop for everything that came out and was announced at Ignite 2022. Let's head over to that web page. What do you see? It's a huge, huge list of announcements range, ranging from AI up to Azure, everything related around Azure data, business applications, uh, industry clouds, Microsoft uh, 365, Power Platform, Security, and Windows. Today, I want to focus on everything that was new and is new in the Azure data field, plus Power BI stuff that was announced. So let's start over here with the first topic, the Microsoft Intelligent Data Platform. Maybe you've heard about that one. It's a thing that was announced in May this year. And Microsoft provides a single pane of truth, including all the operational databases, analytics, and data governance all in one place, ranging from SQL Server up to the cloud into Azure SQL, Azure Cosmos DB, Synapse Analytics, and so on. So what is new in that area is Microsoft announced a partner ecosystem for the intelligent data platform. And that one is really, really interesting because they added partners for operational databases, starting with MongoDB and Yugabyte DB into the analytics field, DBT, Informatica, Click, uh, Fivecran, plus the data governance field, Master Data Management, Prophecy, Clued in, Delphix, and OneTrust. So very, very good point and interesting point for the future. As they say, they will add additional partners. The idea is to have a seamless integration of those systems into the Microsoft Intel Intelligent Data Platform. So databases, analytics, data governance. Azure Cosmos DB, there is Postgres SQL support added to the Azure Cosmos DB. Another way of working with the data, relational, non-relational, and now it's the Postgres support that is added into the Cosmos DB. For MySQL, there's an auto scale feature uh, added to uh, the Azure database for MySQL, a very powerful thing where you don't have to worry about the scaling of your database. It's done by the system itself. Azure Data Studio now supports the database migration assessment for Oracle. So it also includes the assessment of existing Oracle databases for a direction migration into Azure managed databases. One of my favorites, Azure Synapse Analytics. There are some features announced that are coming soon, like a new pipeline template for Microsoft 365 data, plus mapping data flows, which make it easier for data integration using a graphical way of providing your data integration. And there are some other things one of my features, and I think my data science colleagues will really, really like it, R is coming to Synapse in the near future. And a new version of Synapse ML libraries are released. For Data Explorer, there are new sources added. So Data Explorer now allows ingestion from Amazon, Azure Synapse Link for Cosmos DB, Open Telemetry, Azure Stream Analytics, and so on. So many, many new things in here. SAP and Azure Data Factory, there is the SAP Change Data Connector, Change Data Connector which allows us to easily connect to SAP systems, integrate those SAP sources into your analytic solution. And that one is now generally available. No preview anymore. Last but not least, it's Azure Perview Time, the Perview Data Governance Suite, which was formerly known Azure Perview. It's improved in 
getting into the field of the lineage part where the SQL dynamic lineage is now generally available. And I was really, really waiting for that one. And I really want to try that one, fine grained lineage for Power BI datasets. Not only the relationship between a database and your Power BI dataset, there will be a fine granular uh, lineage for Power BI datasets. Meta models, it's a thing to define and document your business processes within Azure Perfu. Sounds interesting, and we'll have a look at that one. And machine learning based classifications, in addition to those uh, regex and dictionary classifications, they will add some more functionality for auto classification in Azure, sorry, Microsoft Perfu. That's it for the Data part, almost, Arc enabled SQL servers do get some more uh, security related features like a single sign on experience to work with Azure Active Directory plus improved security and monitoring with the Microsoft Defender in here. That's it for the data part. And now let's head over to Power Platform. And there are some Power BI updates let's see a really really nice one power bi is now and will get part of the office installer so it will be added to the microsoft 365 e5 plan plus going down to the e3 and maybe the e1 which is mentioned on the the web page itself you can save and view and edit your Power BI reports and save them directly to OneDrive and SharePoint. That one sounds really interesting. No more saving those Power BI desktop files onto your file drive, your local lap uh, your laptop and so on. You can save it to OneDrive and there will be an option to directly edit those files from SharePoint in here. B2B dataset sharing, that makes life very easy to share your data sets to different tenants, to external tenants, and make it easy for uh, discoverability of your data sets from another tenant. Large data set reporting support when working with very large data sets, there are some uh, additional performance uh, enhancements added to that one. Easier migration to Power BI Premium. If you are already using Azure Analysis Services, there is an easier way to migrate to Power BI Premium. And it's a better and integrated solution for Power BI reports and datasets in a Power BI, sorry, in a Power App solution. Makes it easier and you can uh, directly integrate your Power BI artifacts into your Power Apps. That's it for the Azure data news of the Ignite 2022. Head over to my blog, that one over here. I've prepared a blog post with all the links I found about the announcement, the link to the Ignite book of news, plus those blog posts that have more information. With that, enjoy your data, try Azure data, work with it and store your data and treat it well. See you.